Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV and today I'm in my chaotic office and I've got an unboxing video prior to a uh, review. Now, unboxing is usually for finished products but what we've got here is, um, well, this is what's known as a white box uh, which means that the product is a little bit ahead of the uh, stuff that's going to be on the market. It isn't for sale, it's for evaluation and reviewers and stuff and this is from Kenwood and that number as you've been able to read, is a KACPS704EX. KAC are the numbers, uh, the prefix for is put on Kenwood amplifiers. And PS stands for Performance Series. Now, I've started the video without actually checking out what the retail of this amp is, but the big deal is, is that this is now their entry-level amp at Kenwood. And because times have uh, come along a bit and people are getting more and more reluctant to take cars apart, um, and plus there's an awful lot of head units in the front of cars which are deemed acceptable even though they're not aftermarket there have been some enormous changes made now let's just pull this thing out of here uh, unboxing turns out to be the white box I hit the microphone, I'm such an idiot um, and the polystyrene end caps oh and we've got a uh, a little doohickey on the end there which is uh, obviously relevant now the big deal with this is that what was a really posh piece of kit is now is now the entry level one um, and priced accordingly that uh, bit in the middle will light up in uh, red when it actually does that magical thousand watt figure is about a peaky peaky peak but this is actually a 4 by 70 watt amplifier um, and that's RMS and using a uh, Consumer Electronics Association standard rating of power um, which has uh, got the little logo on the uh, presentation. I'm not sure if it's going to be on the box. It should be. But the whole point was is that that is a rating of power that's actually meaningful. Now, let's have a little look on the end here. We've got uh, a couple of fuses, and they are 25 ampere ones. So 50 amperes of fuses to me says that, uh, yeah, this actually could be an amp that's going to be needing that sort of juice. And then as we go along here, what we've got is a whole bunch of screw connectors. The first three visibly bigger. Ironically, you're only going to need to use two of those because that's the power, the ground, and the, uh, or you take it from me, your wanted wire, usually blue. No, there's a switching wire because this amp will switch itself on and sense the signal when connected via a speaker lead, which is what that little doohickey there is. Um, it says... S S SP, speaker level input, signal sensing turn on. Let's see if I can get that in. Close up in that. Here we go. Then into the focusy zone. Do, 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 do. Come on, camera. I'm getting terrible, grainy, noisy video here. Um, I can tell you that the, uh, it's the plug holes next to it that really matter, though. Which, uh, after the line ins, there's your input sensitivity for the A and B channels. And then there is the low pass frequency setting um, for the uh, the crossover. Um, there's some uh, filters on there, which are uh, about well on the. Um, oh, actually, I'll just do a little bit of crib here off the um, uh, details. I've been sent to PowerPoint. The uh, high pass, meaning uh, that lets the highs go past and just sends off the bass, is at 80 hertz, which is a fairly standard crossover point. And uh, that's at 12 dB per octave. The uh, low pass, which uh, allows the, uh, you know, which really sets um, where the subwoofer is uh, actually going onwards from, so it allows the lows to pass. You can set between 50 hertz or as far up as 200 hertz, but that's at 24 dB per octave to keep mid bass out of your woofer. Um, this beautiful piano black section here. Look at the reflection, look, you can see the filament inside. You can see the good nature of the bulb inside my lamp there. Uh, then we've got brushed, cast aluminium. This is not an extrusion, and that is, that is always a sign of a sexy amp. And then also, another sign of an importantly well-made piece of kit is this bit here. That is a fan, and there are two of them. Now... The performance series, the uh, guys at Cambridge make quite a lot of fuss about the signal path through it. So, what we have is, uh, from the power, I should do it from here, 
Oh, God, that was stupid, man. Okay, from the power section, the electricity goes in, comes around to the uh, oomph output, and then comes out via those. Fact is, is that the signal on the other side does another separate arc going towards the same direction. They don't cross each other. The signal and power generation paths are in two separate hoops next to each other instead of crossing over inside, and that is about fidelity. The uh, signal-to-noise ratio is rated at a full-on 100 dB signal-to-noise, um, and whilst that is an insane hi-fi, 85 dB a signal-to-noise ratio will make you think, oh, that's really, really good. I promise you it's the case. So with 100 genuinely quoted, that's actually that's a quite ridiculously high-quality amp for uh, now being an entry-level product. <sighs> it's literally the case that Kemen are taking a bit less overall, monetarily, for this sort of product than they used to because the times have changed. This is one heck of a thing. At this point, I should be able to tell you the price. They will be varying dependent on who's actually selling the damn thing. But um, the KAC PS704EX, um, I'm going to do a bit of review on it. So that was just the unplugging it. Um, and I think what we'll do is just carry straight on rather than go, here's an unboxing because you just want to, oh, show us it, fat bloke, you with your bloody neck on. Um, <laughs> Going to plug it into some lovely speakers, and we'll have a uh, an O and an R and so forth. I've got uh, two pair out there on the uh, test rig in the hallway, and we'll uh, we'll try them out. So the next bit you see will be me uh, having it all plugged in and going, "Ooh, I think it's this good." Okay, with apologies for the Heath Robinsonian rig, this is take two. Can you see that little tiny logo in the middle of the screen? It's, that's the Super Audio CD logo. And that is a Sony SACD deck, very rare. Somewhat busted now and, um, well, it still plays. But on the top of it, the Kenwood KAC704EX amplifier. It's, um, well, just check out the uh, stuff on this thing. First off, there's a... Uh, Big torch stood slightly in the way, but you'll have to forgive that. You've got uh, two sets of input sensitivity because it's a full channel amp. You've got um, the 50 to 200 hertz low pass frequency selector for your subwoofer, and you can turn that on and off. Other than that, there's another switch, which is that little one there, which is a separate fixed slope one for the high pass crossover. Frankly, I wouldn't really bother using them because this amp is such a beautiful full range amp. It's, uh, it's tremendous. I'm now going to play a little bit of music just for a moment that uh, was made very famous for me on a holiday at a Spanish bar for God's sakes a bit of Pink Floyd one of the most amazing fidelity testers ever distortion. Oh, I have to wait a moment to kick in. I always tend to turn it up too high. There's some lovely speakers here. These are Morel Nanos by uh, Virtus Nanos rather. Oh dear, I don't want to get um, that copyright hit. I don't know about you, but there's a certain fabulous metallic dang dang to that, which uh, I could certainly pick up on. The uh, printing on the top might be a little bit cheeky for saying 1,000 watts, but that means 250 watts. Total peak peak from each of the, whoops, sorry, 70 watt four channels in there. But this amplifier is just so, so underpriced, it's ridiculous. Um, lovely cast chassis. Those are 50 amperes of uh, fuses here. The little uh, LED lights up the moment that you uh, power up the um, the head unit, and it's a, it's a tremendous piece of kit. So um, all I can say is is that uh, for all it uh, seeming rather inexpensive, it's definitely uh, not a budget item, and I can happily recommend it. It scored a nine for sound quality, which is uh, absurd for a product of that price, and is selling for 150 quid. Go figure. Kemmer are going to kick some uh, sales out from the feet of the American vendors, I think, with this one. This is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV at the landing. Opposite the painting his dad did, the broadcasting house.
Mm. BH by the late Des Rainer. <laughs>